What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, Godsons and good hearts. It's Pinky once again and welcome to our channel, Canva Play. Here, we will share Canva design tutorial tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. For those who are new to this channel, you can subscribe to our channel if you find our channel helpful and get updated on the latest posts we share here from time to time by turning on your notifications. Today, we will show you how to make half-face cover scrumpled paper. To give you a little insight on how I came up with this design, I saw a design before while browsing other applications made designs, wherein the half face is covered with crumpled paper, and I think this design is very artistic. I thought I think I can do it too in Canva. I hope you keep watching until the end so you won't miss any trick that I'm going to share with you. Take a look of this sample that we will create. Let's now go to the blank design the editor. Drag a photo from photos or uploads. Using the image, go to effects and remove background. If you are using the pro version, you can automatically remove the background under effects. If you are a free user, you can use the free alternative background removers like Remove BG or Sticker Mill. I will put in the description box below the link to these alternatives. If you want to have a Canva Pro account, I have the link in the description below that will give you access to 30 trial days of Canva Pro. It's completely free and you can cancel it at any time you want, hassle-free. Now, let's proceed. Duplicate the image and overlay and align it with each other perfectly. Crop each image into two halves to make it a whole if you look into it. Duplicate page. And delete the other half. Go to Elements. Search for crumpled paper. Go to graphics. And I will look into a crumpled paper that is color brown. Here, here is the one I want to use. The keyword for this crumpled paper is brown crumpled crop paper with one straight strip edge. Now, I will retain and align the crumpled paper to the half face like this. Align the cut edge of the image. I will zoom it so you can see the effect. Now, I'll change the transparency to 65. To manipulate the transparency tool, you can drag the indicator setting to 65 or simply type 65. Please note that there is no standard transparency measure to use. It depends on the crumpled paper you use from elements. Now, if you are satisfied with the look of your half face crumpled, you can download it as PNG with the transparency background checked. And then, Upload it back to Canva. Now, go to your previous page like this and then drag back the PNG half face crumple. Now, I will apply a shadow on the image. I go to FX and find shadows. Scroll down below. See all. And click drop and then i will click to adjust the setting i will change the position of the shadow from bottom right 
to left because that's the marginal line of the two images and then I'll apply position and align the half crumpled face to the original half face to align it perfectly change the transparency to make it lighter for you to see the original position of the half face make it lighter so you can see the original photo you must align it perfectly now i will bring the transparency back to 100 and this is how it looks I think I need to make the crumpled paper more visible and more crumpled precise texture. So, I will apply photogenic effect. Go to effects and go to photogenic. See all. Scroll down and find warm. Under warm, apply capri. Please note that you can use other photogenic effects. Depends on the quality of the paper crumpled you're using. And this is how it looks. Now that we are done with the effect, let's make our design's final touch. I will change the background color with any colors I want or any background I want to use. And I want to use a brown color background because this is the color that dominates the image. This one. And then I will adjust the size of the image to fit to the whole area of your design page. Now, take a look at the design we made. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe, drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky, your godson BA, and in behalf of Simon, Goodheart BA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video!